thank you ipa uh, good evening good afternoon and good morning to all of you those who have joined from various part of country and the world i am delighted to be invited to deliver the special address for the 7th global pharma quality summit 2022 organized by ipa in collaboration with uh, pda usp and others I have been attending this conference every year since 2020 and I am excited to see the evolution of this conference from the India Pharmaceutical Forum to Pharmaceutical Quality Summit Global the virtual format is very useful and ensures that people from around the world are able to join conveniently and this is what truly brings the global element to the conference as you all know that we have been very uh, busy fighting the covid-19 and covid-19 still continues to be a challenge for the world over the course of last two years we as a india demonstrated strong collaboration between government and industry and all other stakeholders to ensure the introductions of the various drugs new drugs repurpose drugs and also supply chain continuity and robustness in operations the cdsco along with department of pharmaceuticals have been working in this front to at a ground level to see what is the actual scenario with regards to availability when it comes to supply to the patients the government and the industry have shared a vision of delivering safe and high quality medicines to all at an affordable price this has shaped a collaborative ecosystem between government industry and also academia academia also helped in this attempt because various epidemiological surveys and various requirements and projections were given from the academia and the research institute during all this three waves of covid-19 we were able to create multidisciplinary working groups which help streamline and implement regulations and notifications on the ground showing the various regulatory flexibilities and also stringency wherever required these learnings have been extremely useful from my experience i can say in helping us contain the adverse effect of the pandemic and also bringing certain new systems just like the use of digital platform virtual platforms and also fast track approval processes when it is required and adaptive designs of the clinical trials so in a way we have converted this adversity into an opportunity the third wave actually did not impact india as heavily as the earlier waves due to the very systematic preparedness and learning and from the earlier waves and the preparations from the government and industry together i compliment ipa for their efforts to share the best practices to help build the capacity of the industry and those documents with regards to the regulatory best practices and visual inspections of sterile products and others which are developed by working groups across the different ipa members companies are useful to everyone in the pharmaceutical industry and i urge all participants because i have gone through it to go through this best practices document they are quite elaborative and they give a very simplistic and very systematic guidance and i am told that they are also uploaded on ipa website and is available to view for everybody sustainability in the operation as said is the particular topic of this global summit and it has been a buzzword across all industries in last decade following un's announcement of the sustainable development goals i am glad that the indian ipa is taking concerted efforts in recognizing the importance of being uh, more environmentally socially ecologically conscious with this uh, in this regard India is currently indeed the third largest supplier of the pharmaceutical product in the world by volume and by becoming a leader in sustainability the industry will further reinforce its rightful reputation as a pharmacy of the world 
systematic and quality pharmacy of the world. The advent of new diseases like COVID-19 in a various forms, form 1, form 2, evolution of pathogens to develop drug resistance and discovery of new impurities makes pharmaceutical and medicinal, medicinal sciences one of the complex fields of a science and we need to interact regularly and IP has been doing that along with all stakeholders to tackle this problem. The last one is of a grave concern, the impurities to the industry and regulators alike as impurities in the pharmaceuticals could pose a significant or unknown health risk in the patient. Drug regulators in India and around the world have constantly strived to improve understanding of these impurities and develop protocols to eliminate them in the manufacturing phase. India is preparing, as you all know, very systematically to converge with various international guidelines as far as ICH, PICS are concerned and the technical requirements will not only improve the timely introduction of the new medicines but will also ensure continued availability of approved medicines to the patients. The endeavor is to move ahead and ahead. CDSU have introduced changes to various rules, drug and cosmetic rules over the last three, three four years with a view to simplify. Our main aim is to see that the simplification do happen so that the compliance becomes easy. Simplify the regulatory approval processes in the form of online submissions, parallel processing, fast track or emergency use appro approvals and reducing the duplications. This helps us to introduce multiple indigenously developed vaccines, diagnostics, therapies, repurposed drugs to contain and manage the COVID-19 pandemic. I believe we can take many learnings from this experience and apply them to the future streamlining the regulations related to innovative products. The summit is timely initiative to deliberate on the pertinent topics of the manufacturing and quality, quality excellence, quality by designs, vaccine development, sustainable operations and the efforts taken by the IPA to improve the academia and academic syllabus and also best practices document. The eminent speakers, scientists and industry captains will be sharing their knowledge experience which will enrich the space. I hope the participants and speaker can have engaging discussion through this forum and I wish this summit all the success. Thank you very much.